Okay, everyone, thank you for coming out. I've got a microphone, so now maybe it won't echo so much, but we're going to have to test that theory out. So anyways, welcome to U.S. Foreign Policy. I am pumped to be with you all today, and I'm going to give you a quick rundown of what this class is going to be about. Now, it goes without saying, one of the biggest foreign policy conundrums we have now is the invasion of Russia in the Ukraine. And I only like to take pictures of, i put pictures, sorry, for my background that I've actually taken. I'm like, but I've never been to Russia, but I have been to a Russian bar in Cartagena, Colombia. So this is KGB, check it out, Bar Russia. It's called the Russian Bar there. And it has all this kind of, um, uh, what would be it called, uh, stuff. <laughs> I guess, from Russia. So we're going to begin this introduction with about the Ukrainian crisis. So this is going to be a big part of the class, obviously, because of what's going on. What should the United States do? Should the United States, you know, use military force through NATO, for example, in order to curb uh, the ongoing invasion? Or is the United States scared because Russia has nuclear weapons. We're going to get into all of that. But first, I want to say how lucky you people are for taking this class, because one, obviously for the topical subjects, but two, there's actually no textbooks. I'm trying to dump my textbooks and do a more open source model. An open source model is you basically have you know, it's free. So there is no textbook for this class, but there's going to be a lot of reading, lectures, documentaries, videos, and stuff like that. Uh, moreover, um, you really want to keep up with these classes. These online classes move fast. So, you know, one of the things is please watch my video on the point system. Uh, I don't accept late discussion boards. Obviously, I put up the quizzes, the lecture quizzes after the quizzes end. So there's a good amount of time to do these things. But we are on a point system. And there's a good 10, even maybe more extra points, eight, something like that, but generous extra points to cover things in case you miss a quiz, a discussion board, etc. And we also have a community forum in this class. And that community forum is very important because then you can ask questions that probably other students are thinking. And it's very hot here in Arizona. Um, unfortunately, I'm not in Russia. Maybe it'd be a little, a little cooler. Um, you basically have a final paper, midterm exam, final exam. So there's a lot of work for the class. Uh, we're also going to do possibly, uh, and which I'll be putting up there, an alternative internship assignment, which is based on resource uh, research. It is remote, but we're going to talk more about that later. But welcome to U.S. Foreign Policy with everything that's going on. It's an exciting class. Um, and I guess I should introduce myself in case you haven't had me before. Professor Charles Ripley, my research is actually in Latin America. You'll be reading some of the stuff I have done, Discourse in Foreign Policy, uh, the article, which I've given a few classes on Columbia and log rolling. Um, but you basically are going to be watching a lot of videos of mine on YouTube on the ground videos I've taped in Latin America and elsewhere. So, you know, welcome to the class, but really try to keep up with this, understand the point system, please watch uh, the video on the grades and the point system, which is also in um, this uh, module. I can ask questions on this on the quizzes. There's a quiz every week. There's, two dis there's more than two discussion boards every week. Um, so there's a good amount of work. It is an upper level class and I try not to um, decrease the value of my class just because it's online or even possibly the summer. Um, in fact, you know, it is a, it is a, a upper level course, but Again, I can't stress enough, good news, there are no books to buy. Uh, so without further ado, you can jump right into the class when you want. I open up the modules piecemeal. Uh, usually before every Thursday, I'll open up the next module. That's a week. It's interchangeable, module and week. Uh, so you people can go. Now I'm going to see where it is uh, to stop and or pause this recording. But thanks again for taking this course. This is going to be an exciting course with everything going on. I mean, 
and it won't just be about the Ukrainian crisis. Obviously, there's a lot going on out there in foreign policy, supply, uh, the supply chain that's going on, inflation. Um, you know, is Joe Biden better than Trump, Obama, etc.? And then we'll be doing some historical stuff that's important. You know, we forget about like the invasion of Libya that NATO uh, did. Well, obviously, Afghanistan, Iraq, so many different things out there that's interesting for U.S. foreign policy. So uh, take care, everyone. And if you have any questions, please leave them in community forum. Uh, that's a great place to kind of uh, see what other students are thinking and the questions they have. And if it's of a personal nature, just email me directly. Take care, everyone.